Dead Island 2 just released, and there hasn't been a ton of crazy glitches, but there is one cool glitch you can do where you can jump out of the map and then go out of bounds and see this giant horde of zombies. You really can't see these when you're inside the map, but you can hear them. You can go up to the gate and hear these roaring zombies, and then when you go out there, it's like a sea of thousands of them. And you really do have to get out of the map and wall breach to be able to get a good look at them. And shout out to Exploit Theory on YouTube, they found a method for for getting out of all the maps. It's really simple to do. So to see the horde of zombies, you need to unlock Venice Beach and you'll get here pretty early on in the game, maybe rank like 12 or 14. You're going to be jumping on top of a wall and then running down it to jump out of the map. And here's the wall right here. And if you've done this mission where you fight this boss and that tanker breaks the wall, that's okay, you can still do it. To jump on top of that wall, you need to come to this location here on the map, and this is a bit of a run from the point where you spawn in at. You'll have to kill a few zombies to clear that area, and then you're good to go. So what you'll do is come to this part of the map. You'll see this blue painted spiral staircase, and all you have to do is walk up to the wall and line up with this plant, and then start jumping up and down rapidly. What's going to happen is there's going to be a jump lag, and you're going to bounce up over the wall and be out of bounds, but the host cannot do this glitch. It has to be players in the game that are not host. And the more players you have in the game, the laggier it is. So if you're host and there are two other players with you, that lobby is going to lag a ton when they try to jump. But if it's just you and one other player, you can help lag the lobby for them by going into your menu and just looking around in your menu, closing it out, opening it back up really rapidly. That helps to lag it and that should pop them up out of the map. So once you are out of the map, all you have to do is walk around to this wall right here and jump up. But be careful because it's small and you could fall off, but make sure you fall to the left and not to the right because you will fall out of the map completely. From here, you just follow the top of the wall all the way straight until you're able to jump out. And when you get to the truck right here, just go up to the right where you see a more flat platform and then you can jump down into the rubble and then you'll be able to mantle up and get back up onto the top of the wall. And then the exit to get out of bounds is really close by. When you get to this wall right here, you can mantle over and drop down. And in this area, you're not in any threat of falling through the map as long as you stay in the parking lot area with these buses but you can run all the way to the back past the buses and then go to the left and you'll start seeing the zombies there are areas where you will fall through the map and to test areas just throw down a meat bait or a kim bomb as long as it stays on the surface then you can walk on it but if you see it disappear through the graphics and not land on anything then you're gonna fall through the graphics as well but you can run all the way to the ocean and run through all the zombies and even go the entire perimeter of this map map and there's even more zombies on the other side. But I'll let the video play and show you guys all the places I went if you just want to see the zombies and don't actually want to get out there yourself. But hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you next video.